You hear that, Pops? Those are the car market alarms sounding. The fire sale is beginning. We've called this for a long time, Dad. Jeep slashing prices and MSRPs. Automakers across the board increasing incentives here in November, and the expectation is even more in December. Finally, seems like growing inventory levels and dealer lots piling up with cars has caught up, and now prices are finally in incentives. Prices are going down, and incentives are finally going up. Let's start with the Jeep news, Dad. We have an up to $7,000 MSRP reduction on some 2025 Jeep vehicles. This is after the automaker has experienced declining sales and 2023s, 2024s, and 2025s sitting on dealer lots. What do we need to know? Uh, we need to know that that's not a big enough change in the MSRP. Um, they they announced that they're, they're cutting the MSRP on, on some of the models, the Grand Cherokee, the Gladiator, the, the Wagoneer, and the Grand Wagoneer. And and yet, even with those price reductions, um, for instance, the uh, the uh, Wagoneer still starts at sixty one thousand dollars. Okay, and and the one that has a seven thousand dollar price reduction is still eighty some thousand dollars for the Grand Wagoneer. It is insane that they think those cuts are enough to move those units, which realistically in my mind, not even close to what they need to do. This is the second time Jeep has slashed MSRPs. Earlier this year, they also reduced their MSRP. So again, it's the sound of those alarm bells that the fire sale is starting to come. There are five brands in particular here that we had, now that we're in November and heading into December, that we are watching most closely that are going to have the biggest incentives and quite frankly, have the most oversupply of inventory. Lincoln is number one on that list, Ram, Ford, Jeep, and Nissan. And we're gonna talk through some of the deals that we're seeing here in November and our expectation for why those deals are gonna get even better in December. Before we do, Dad, let's just spend a second. Why is the end of the year the best time all year to buy a new car? And I wanna lead here in with the fact that it's a lot to do with wanting to hit sales numbers, incentives, things like that, correct? It is. Dealers have set goals for themselves. Manufacturers have set sales goals for their dealers. Uh, well, guess what? There's only less than two months left in the year to hit those annual objectives. Salespeople have annual objectives they're trying to hit to earn extra bonuses. So everybody is motivated towards having a strong close of the year. Manufacturers typically throw their largest incentives towards those sales objectives in November and December. So historically, these are the two months of the year where the deals get the best. So over at Ford, Ford and Lincoln, inventories are quite high and incentives are also through the roof. This is especially true on electric vehicles. Over at Ford, we have 0% financing for up to 72 months on the Ford Mustang Mach-E. There's also subvented, which are lowered interest rates down to 0.9, 1.9% on other makes and models. Dad, Ford still has 2023s sitting on dealer lots, new 2023s sitting on dealer lots. We've done videos talking about how if you really want the best possible deal, go to the dealership, go to the Ford or Lincoln dealer and say, hey, what, what about that 2023 new one you've had sitting for 450 days? <laughs> Then we've got 0% financing for up to six years, specifically as a result of vehicles just not selling. That's, again, another alarm bell here of that fire sale mentality finally starting to manufacture itself. The Dodge Hornet is on this list. That is one of the best deals in November. 0% financing up to 72 months on that as well. The list goes on and on and on for 0% financing. Chevy has some 0% financing on the Blazer, the Equinox, and Silverado, all EVs up to 36 months. GMC has 0% financing on the Sierra 1500 and Sierra EV for 36 months. We talked about Jeep earlier in the video, Dad. The Wrangler and the Grand Cherokee also have 0% financing up to 36 months. Kia has 0% financing for up to 72 months on the EV9 and EV6. There was a period of time where the EV6 was selling above MSRP. Now it has 0% financing for 72 months. Mazda has 0% financing for up to 36 months across most of their makes and models. Nissan has 0% financing up to 36 months on the Rogue and Pathfinder and up to 60 months on the Titan. And even Subaru, dad, they can't sell that doggone Solterra. So they have 0% <laughs> financing for up to 72 months there. This is, I mean, the average new car interest rate is almost nine, closer to 10%. This is a huge savings for customers and it's really ramping up here in November. Oh, it's it's a tremendous savings, especially when you consider what the average transaction prices are in America today. And when you start looking at EVs, I believe the average transaction price on a new EV is approaching $55,000. So 
let's just say you have really good credit and you qualify for that 0% for 72 months. And because you have really good credit, you don't have to put any money down. So between fees and everything else, you're financing $60,000 for 0% interest for six years. Um, yeah, you might have a high payment. You're not paying any interest. If you had been financing it for seven, seven or eight percent, it's saving you hundreds of dollars per month uh, over a seventy-two month loan. You know, we could be talking fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars in savings here um, for these uh, high-priced EVs. So this is what you have to do today in order to move those vehicles that even though EV sales are growing, they're just not growing at as fast a pace as all these manufacturers had envisioned. Absolutely. So EVs, huge incentives, but also dad, look at these lease deals that I've got for you here in the month of November. These are nationwide programs. These automakers are really pushing payments. Honda Accord, you can lease a Honda Accord right now, dad, for $239 a month for 36 months with $37.99 do it signing. Wow. That is a hell of a payment on a Honda Accord, not an EV right? Just a sedan. You want mobility from point A to point B, show up with 3,800 bucks and you got a $240 a month payment. You're leasing a car, obviously, but I mean, that's a national program at the moment. You got to obviously qualify. You got to negotiate still on the capitalized costs and things like that. But holy cow, man, that's a low payment. $199 on a Kia Forte, 24 months, bring $3,500 down. The Kia K4, $219 a month for 24 months, $3,500 down. Hyundai Elantra, dad, $179 a month if you show up with $3,500 to put down. So there's some real lease incentives going mm -hmm. on right now from these OEMs, from these captive financing companies to try and find payments because they know these payment shoppers want to get to a certain price range. So again, alarm bell going off, fire sale and notification going off. Like there's an oversupply of inventory and a need to find payments that'll fit buyers. 84% of all buyers out there are payment buyers. That's why you're seeing these lease programs uh, being offered at this moment. That's a way to get people into a vehicle at a payment that they can afford and Position yourself to have them as a customer again in 24 to 36 months when their lease comes due. You you do several things by doing that. You see to it that your dealers are going to have good quality, low mileage used cars coming back to them in 24 to 36 months. Um, your customer has to do something in 24 to 36 months. So you have another opportunity to sell them or lease them another vehicle. It makes perfect sense to uh, advertise great lease programs to get people back into the marketplace at payments that they can now afford. So at its core pops, what's driving this is swelling new car inventory levels. The industry average right now is a 101 days supply of inventory. That means it would take 101 days to sell all available vehicles based on current sales rates and how much inventory there is. There are so many brands that are above that benchmark dad. Alfa Romeo has a 232 day supply of inventory right now. Jaguar 195, Volvo 192. Lincoln 186, Mini 183, Ram 179, Dodge 152, Ford, the best-selling pickup truck in the United States, F-150 is up at 152, 144 for Genesis and for Jeep, Nissan at 143, Mazda at 126, no wonder they're offering all that 0% financing, Mercedes-Benz at 125, Audi at 120, Hyundai at 120, Mitsubishi at 119. These brands, the list goes on and on, we have all this data obviously back on caredge.com, they have too many cars. They have too many cars and they need to find ways to incentivize selling them. At its core, it's very simple, supply and demand. Absolutely. And as the inventory has continued to grow, and it has, we're approaching pre-pandemic level inventory levels. At that time, it was 3.4, 3.5 million new vehicles available on a monthly basis. Today, we're about 2.8 million, um, which is up probably a million over the same time a year ago. Because that inventory keeps growing and the cost of carrying that inventory keeps going up, that is the driving force behind why we are seeing such great deals, such tremendous offers during November and will continue into December. It's just inventory controls price. Too much inventory lowers the price. Too little inventory, prices go up. Do your research back on caredge.com. Make sure you're informed when you go to buy your next car. Thanks as always, Pops. Thank you.